Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for April 25th, 2019. So my goodness, this morning when I wrote the morning blog, I stole a line from Forrest Gump. We all know the line. And I, I rephrased it to say, um, earnings are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And that has really been the case this earnings season. Uh, first off, we got really good earnings re results out of Microsoft and Facebook last night. Both stocks moving up. Microsoft making um, its first um, first move into the trillion dollar market cap club on this move up um, uh, after earnings. What a beautiful, beautiful chart uh, Microsoft is. Very, very strong report. Everything looking good. And then Facebook um, really j jumping higher as well on their great report, despite the fact that they are expecting somewhere between three and five billion dollars in, in an FTC fine um, for uh, data breaches um, and that would be the biggest fine in history if that is the case um, uh, investors have largely shrugged that off and um, uh, you know just no problem but then this morning doggone it this morning 3m reports and holy smoke dropping about $20 a share on their earnings miss. They are really getting punished hard this morning. And consequently, we have kind of an interesting setup for the morning. So first off, we have NASDAQ futures, uh, QQQ futures looking for a gap up open. Um, because of those strong earnings reports, they're looking for a small gap up open and continuing this very strong trend in, uh, in the NASDAQ. What an amazing move. This this has been um, and as we continue to climb up here I need to start deleting out some of these support and resistance lines because we just keep stretching and stretching and stretching but everything is looking very very good in the Nasdaq this morning however if we take a look at the diamonds the Dow futures are looking for a lower open. They have rallied back slightly um, since the initial reaction of the 3M earnings report this morning, but we're looking at a gap down of somewhere around 100 points. We're just slightly less than that right now, uh, 91 points down this morning looking for that gap. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. One thing is for certain, we're going to have to be a little bit careful um, how we navigate the waters today. We could um, have some pretty, pretty bumpy, bumpy. Uh, uh, bumpy price action um, with all of this uh, uh, back and forth. So right now we're looking at the Dow looking lower. We have um, nothing really of major concern to worry about until or if the Dow were to fail down below this price level here, this price support. So as long as we can pull back and hold above that, I think we're going to be okay here in the Dow. But unfortunately, it looks like the Dow is going to have a little bit more work before it has that opportunity to attack those all-time highs, which uh, I think the market really wants to, to happen. They really want to see get that headline. So we'll have to maybe wait on that for some more of these earnings reports and hopefully catch some uh, some good positive ones. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also hanging in there really, really good. Currently, um, the ES futures are suggesting just a, a modest, a very modest open, almost flat open this morning on um, SPY. And here again, we're just right there. We're trying to, on the SPY, to crack that resistance high. And so far, haven't quite been able to find the energy to do that. Um, but I, I still believe that's likely going to to occur. Um, once again, Q's. Q's looking really, really strong. Um, yeah, no reason for concern here at all. And as long as those uh, earnings reports continue to roll in on these big techs uh, this way, uh, that can certainly continue. Remember, tonight we have Intel and we also have Amazon on earnings. So that um, can certainly change things pretty significantly. Just keep that in mind. More big tech earnings 
on the way tonight. Let's take a look at um, IWM. IWM rallying back, kind of catching some of this um, bullish fever coming on, rallying back up, still struggling with this price resistance in here. We still have to watch and see whether or not we can break through there and actually hold it. We've popped up, but now the question is, will we hold up here or will there be a little bit more uh, bearish action in here. So let's wait and see. Um, IWM still just kind of, um, you know, struggling along here, not really participating in all the bullish move in the overall market. Let's take a look at the VIX here real quick. VIX could be a little bit interesting this morning. We had uh, VIX showing us a little bit of rally up yesterday, just a little tiny bit of concern with the Dow slipping yesterday. And um, now this morning with the Dow gapping lower and NASDAQ gapping higher, it could be a real interesting um, uh, mix to try and figure out what's gonna happen um, here in the VIX and whether there's going to be any fear creeping in or not. We'll have to watch that closely. Right now, no big major concern here on fear coming into the market. But as we continue to bounce around in here, we could see that fear start to creep up. Remember, I, I really believe we're not going to see massive fear problem unless we can rally all the way up there, hold that, and then start moving higher. That would be a sign of real trouble. But so far, there's no indication that that is going to occur, at least in the very near future. Let's take a look at T. 2122 t2122 that four week new high new low ratio and you can see yesterday we ran back up here toward this bearish reversal zone we didn't reach all the way to the top of that bearish reversal zone but we did catch a little bit of pullback then by the end of the day with the dow slipping so i don't know exactly what will happen here it, it'll be interesting to see with the nasdaq gapping up the uh, and the dow gapping lower It'll be interesting to see how T2122 handles that. But as you can see, we do have room to the upside and we have plenty of room to the downside here on T2122. And that's really all it's telling us that we still have upside room and we have plenty of downside room to be able to run if the market uh, finds that direction. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar has a couple things that we want to pay attention to. First off, probably and the most important really today is going to be that durable goods report. Durable goods coming out at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, an hour before the market opens. We'll want to keep an eye on that because that certainly uh, could have some potential of moving the market around. Then of course, jobless claims also um, have that potential to move the market around. I just doubt that we're gonna see a major change in those jobless claims. Um, but you know, surprises happen, right? And then um, we have the natural gas report. Don't expect that to move the market at all today. Um, we have a few other um, outside reports here, a bunch of bond auctions, and then we have Fed balance sheet. So don't I don't expect anything after these two to really be affecting the market today. So kind of keep an eye on those two at 8.30 a.m. Eastern this morning. Let's take a, um, take a quick look um, at uh, that 3M chart. Uh, 3M gapping down. Um, more than 20 points um, a share this morning on that report. And this is just one of those little reminders that um, no matter how bullish a chart may appear, um, earnings are, are something you just want to be really, really careful with. I know there's a lot of people that want to speculate and gamble around earnings. I can tell you I've never seen anyone that does that successfully over a long period of time just simply because of things like this. We get these massive, massive problems. Um, that can occur. Stocks can get tremendously punished if they even come in, um, you know, flat 
uh, they are, they're being uh, tremendously punished. So be really careful around those earnings reports. It's just one of those reminders that you have to um, plan your risk carefully and, and um, just realize that earnings is just one of those times where a trader's edge disappears because it becomes just a gambling uh, trade at that point. You never know what's going to be the result of that earnings report. They can report great earnings, go nowhere. Um, they can report great earnings and go down. They can report go poor earnings and go up. Um, you just never know what's going to happen. Here's a point in fact. Um, uh, Tesla reported just uh, abysmal earnings um, yesterday. Um, one of the biggest losses ever. Um, and the stock has barely moved. So you just never know what what's going to come out of an earnings report. So be really, really careful around earnings season. And we've got a really big week yet next week in earnings reports. So watch watch those earnings reports uh, closely. And if you have the ability to put that earnings date right there on your chart so that you're not missing that, you check that every time you look at a chart, um, that helps an awful lot. Let's... Um, I want to uh, say thank you to everyone who uh, takes the time to click that thumbs up button on these YouTube videos and leave comments. Um, you guys are the best. I truly, truly appreciate it. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a quick favor and click that subscribe button. Um, click the bell icon when that pops up so you make sure and be notified of these videos. And please, 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 please help in um, promoting the channel just with a simple comment. Any comment um, will do. The algorithms look for those uh, comments and the more comments a video gets, the more views they, um, they put the video out to be seen. So thank you to all of you who take the time to do that. I truly appreciate it. Also, please always feel free to share this video with any friends and family. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at a few charts that could be setting up. You guys know that I have mentioned Tiffany's a couple of times already. Tiffany's started up yesterday um, and, and then um, turned back around, but we're still in this consolidation zone. Might be worth keeping an eye on Tiffany's to see which way it's going to come out of here. It's possible, certainly possible as it's dealing with this resistance that we fail this trend and fail this support here. So this could be one of those trades to go either direction um, in the chart. Take a look at Target. Target looking really, really good here. Nice hammer follow through um, yesterday in that chart looking strong. Some of these retail uh, stocks are starting to come up and look pretty good. Along that same theme, we might wanna take a look at Costco. Whoops. There we go. Can't type this morning. Um, take a look at Costco. Um, also, hammer, follow through, breaking through resistance and looking pretty good. Uh, Costco looking strong, looking healthy here. So you might want to keep an eye on that. Um, other stocks uh, to maybe pay attention to. Some of the financials are starting to look pretty good. Take a look at Citibank here. Citibank, nice little controlled pullback after this big, big uh, candle here on um, its earnings report. One thing you have to think about with Citibank is this long-term downtrend in the chart. But if we can hold this upward trend, if buyers can step in here, it might be worth watching that, pushing that to the upside. So keep an eye on that. Um, and we're starting to see some of those financials move up. If you wanna maybe pick up a basket, of financials. Take a look at XLF. XLF is also dealing with that really long downtrend line, but trying to show some positiveness here in this nice little consolidation around support. Any move up through there could certainly uh, be a good sign for some of the financials here. Um, looking pretty good in several places. You know, you can take a look at JP Morgan. JP Morgan, a nice move up here 
pulling back in a nice light consolidation that has that potential to pop and move on up out of there looking really really good so keep an eye on some of these financials they really could be um, a great place to look keep an eye on nvidia nvidia nice little consolidation through here tried to make a rally happen yesterday it's still possible this could consolidate a little bit more in here remember our original trend is back in here and it's possible we we may have to uh, find this old trend before we move up but holding in here pretty well if we can catch some buyers in here we may change that tr uh, trend trajectory and uh, really start moving nvidia higher so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a great day i want to wish you great profits and just keep in mind everyone that we have a, a lot of tech earnings, a lot of big earnings yet to come after the bell today. So plan your risk carefully. And if you are new to trading, if you're struggling as a trader, I want to encourage you to just never give up. You know, keep keep working really hard, studying, um, practice, practice, practice. Um, I can tell you that it took me years to figure this out or I could make a living doing this. It was not easy and every single day as a trader you face a new challenge. The market is ever changing. So you're always having to adjust and adapt to current market conditions um, in your trading. And if you're struggling, I just wanna encourage you um, again to, to not give up, to really, um, really try um, to get some help, get the support you need, find um, find a trading mentor, something along those lines to help you get on track and start working toward uh, that dream of being able to trade full time. I can I can tell you, having um, been able to to reach that um, and 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 trade for a living for the last 14 years, it is certainly worth the effort. Everyone take care, have an awesome day. I wish you all the best. We'll talk to you bright and early Friday morning. Take care now.